It is round one. It is Luis. It is Fractal. I am ready. You all are ready. Let us get this started. Three, two, one. Tetris. So yes, for you YouTube people, uh, Luis's matches will be a little bit different today. Thank you so much, Canine Watching Tetris, for the 321 countdown bits. Yes, Luis's matches will be a little bit different today. I did ship a tournament cartridge to Luis on the second day of the month, the first day of the month that the post office was open. It is now the 28th of January, and it is still sitting in customs in Portugal. So uh, not Vandy's fault. Tiny Snowdrop with the 3 2 one countdown bits. Thank you so much. Hype train has begun. And thanks again to T-Drop for the 5,000 bits just before the YouTube portion started. So we do not have a tournament cartridge for Luis. We tried. We spent $70 of US American dollars. Could not get him the cartridge we tried. So we will not be doing same piece sets for Luis's matches. And uh, we, but we will still have a 39 pseudo kill screen where in which we will stop counting points after level 39. So that is the, that is what is happening today. 117 here for Luis as we get underway. 137 for Fractal. And there you are, Tetrising. So, you know, a little bit interesting. We have not had, you know, differing piece sets in Masters for a while. And after having done it for several months, it does seem like there's a definite difference because players do, you know, if there's a certain piece distribution players struggles are kind of in line with each other like you know like you don't see one player it's very rare that you see one player on the same piece sets with like a 300k transition on 19 and the other one with like a 650 right they do tend to follow each other a little bit so interesting to experience that and have that data for several months but both players, uh, well, at least Luis humming right along here, 211. Fractal actually in the lead despite this kind of annoying stack that he's trying to deal with. Yes, Fractal will be playing with 39 halt. Yes. So, I mean, the really the only difference is like you're not going to be setting up for a, you know, double you know, level 40 Tetris or level 39 Tetris, I guess. I guess it would be so. Fractal in a little bit of trouble. And, you know, this situation with the same piece sets thing kind of favors Luis. Generally speaking, well, it doesn't favor them, but it does introduce a little bit more randomness. And where Fractal is a very tenured player, experienced at extremely high level play, Luis, fair to say, is not as experienced at play at this level. And so just the opportunity that, you know, your opponent might get some crappy RNG and you don't, it does, you know, give you a shot at maybe surviving. So while it is not an advantage necessarily, definitely there's more variance in the um, in the outcomes. So 242 here for Fractal, 316 for Luis. Yes, it is Luis's master's debut. See, if you don't watch on Twitch, this is this is my problem, right? I go through this whole introductory spiel with all the context and the players and stuff like that. And it doesn't make it to YouTube. So I feel like I have to repeat myself because people don't watch that part. They don't want to see it. They just want to go right into the match. And, you know, we are optimizing for the algo, you know, we're slaves to the algo. We just like get right into the match. You don't want to see a bunch of slides and someone talking over them. 397 here for Luis, 296 for Fractal. But yes, it is Luis's master's debut. A little bit of a kind of a failed adjustment there on Luis's part, but able to get the Tetris to bring this down. And it's got a hundred thousand point lead over Fractal. All right, Luis going to get that long bar down the right side for the triple. And Luis, yeah, using that long bar to just fill in that one little notch to get 
Tetris ready. One row off the bottom and we'll get that dirty Tetris. There's a Tetris for Fractal. See, see how long Luis decides to stay with this or if he decides to burn it down because he is 12 lines away from the level 19 transition. You can see Luis rolling. All right, there is a nice Tetris for Luis. It's still going to go one row off the bottom, looking for that kind of perfect or minimal burn situation. Fractal going to transition here at 466. And any uh, score advantage that Luis has had has largely been dissipated throughout this sequence. And there we go. A nice, uh, nice down stacking there to set up the Tetris right after the 19 transition. And Luis going for it. Luis not messing around. It's like, I'm playing Fractal. I don't care. I'm going for it. One row off the bottom. No, finally going to take the triple. You can see like, all right, I don't want to tempt fate. I want maximum flexibility, maneuverability. Just going to take that triple. And Fractal is uh, in the lead by a small amount, but also ahead in line. So it is pretty much tied at this point. Fractal ahead, you know, four to seven lines at a time. 618 Luis, 623 for Fractal. Wow, we have completed a level four hype train. Thank you so much for that. It's been a while since I've seen a hype train. We certainly have not seen one completed to like level five in a long time. So, you know, maybe that'll happen tomorrow during the finale. 650 here for Luis, 662 for Fractal. There we go. Tetris for Fractal. Luis getting a little bit high on the board. Left side. Oh, and he's going to get that J over. Opens up that kind of well there, but he's going to cover it and uncover it again. I think Luis is poised to get out of this, but okay, good. All right. Looks like Luis is going to be able to get out of this. Uncovers the right side. Oh, covers just as the bar comes, of course, because it is Tetris, and that is what you do. And finally able to uncover again, and there is the bar for the Tetris. Luis visibly moved uh, <laughs> by having done that. So there you go, 705. Luis, 790 for Fractal Tetris, Luis. We are on level 25. We're just separated by two lines. Tetris for Luis, 772, level 26, Tetris Fractal. It's kind of like the, this is very close. See, same P sets, does it matter? I don't know. Maybe one of these players will be further ahead, further behind. I don't know, but right now, pretty darn close. Luis into level 27. He's got that uh, Sidnev console, I think, where 27 kind of looks like, like a darker level. 28. All right, Fractal getting into a bit of trouble here on 28. Oh no, this does not look survivable for even Fractal. Fractal gonna top out at 876, and Luis is gonna get a center well Tetris, but didn't need it. Already good into 29. So, Luis, you are good. You have taken a game off of the inimitable Fractal 161. All right, there we go. Luis, uh, situation is well in hand. And we'll top out. So there you go. GG's Luis. All right. We got it ready from Luis. It is game two. Luis up one game to none over Fractal. Here we go. We are counting it down. Wow. Three, two, one. Tetris. Yeah. It's kind of stuff you forget. You don't really see in Masters anymore. Right? The, the rocket screen. OA. Wow. Wow.
you know, just with our experience having used same P sets exclusively for the last several months, it's so interesting to think back to all the old matches and how they might have changed, but also just how amazingly close so many of them were, despite the fact that the players were getting, you know, different pieces. And I think there is a case to be made that some players can kind of overcome a little bit of the RNG just by playing up to the level of their opponents. And I think there's something to be said for that. I can't explain it. It sounds mystical, but I have seen it and I have experienced it maybe more than anyone. So there's some, there's definitely something to that. All right, Fractal with a little bit of a weird board there. are going to set, uh, set up a center well Tetris and get it. 112 here for Fractal, Tetris for Luis, 85. Violin Che is here, T Drop, Curie, Madi is here. Lil Sean. Wow. That sounds like someone, like, like a famous rapper, but I'm not sure if it is. Felix, Guesty, Cole, Buckets. You're all here. And I'm shouting you out, uh, you out here on Twitch and YouTube. So, Fractal in a bit of a dig up near the top of the board. And this is very dangerous. How do you get that L to the left? Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Fractal is gonna top out at 122 and Luis is already good at 159. Luis, you can top out, you are good. And Luis is like, come on, no way. Really? What? Me against Fractal? What? Oh, there you go with the JD spin. <laughs> All right, we've got readies from each player. Luis is up two games to none over Fractal. So let's go ahead and get game three started. Three, two, one, Tetris. Yeah, now I'm not sure if it's you know, just the RNG that was the problem, or if it's kind of stacking on Fractal's part, but you know, some of those early boards for Fractal did not look right. They just looked a little weird. So we'll see what Fractal can do to right the ship, as it were. <clears throat> Maybe that's the new meta. Maybe it's like, oh my, Competition cartridge is broken. I, I can't use SPS. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's stuck in customs. Wink, wink. All right, there we go. Tetris for Fractal. 91,093 for Luis. This time it's Luis's board looking a little suspect. All right, 182 here for Fractal through 32 lines. Luis set up on the center well, one, one row, I can't say that, one row off the bottom. Row, row. One row off the bottom and he gets that Tetris. Luis looking to uncover that right side. Still on the left well. One row off the bottom. I said it. I'm going to take the burn. Gets the long bar for the Tetris. It looks like he's going to try to transition this well over to a normal place. Two seventy-eight for Fractal, one eighty-five for Luis, so about a ninety-thousand-point 
lead for Fractal. Spire kind of uh, forming in the middle of Fractal Stack, going to cause him to put a gap in there. It gets the Tetraso to bring it down. And Fractal looking for that L. All right, but a long bar and a J will do. And Fractal going to uncover the right side square for the left. Very nice. Tetris for Luis. Wow. Hana has gifted a tier one sub to Sky. Thank you so much. Hana for the gift sub. A couple of Tetrises in a row on back to back long bars for Fractal. 402 for Fractal. 327 after a Tetris for a Luis. Yeah, I mean, feel free to gift uh, gift subs to people, you know, folks. I mean, I, I, we'll, uh, we'll allow that. This stream only, you will be allowed to do that. <laughs> so you better do it while you can. <laughs> All right, Tetris Fractal 447 through 93 lines. It seems more like a fractal pace. Tetris Luis 396. That's right. We're not like those other Twitch channels where all gift subs are banned all the time. We will let you do it once in a while. <laughs> so Fractal still with about, you know, 90 to 100,000 point lead over Luis. Oh, there we go. An adjustment for Fractal. Interesting with that long bar. There we go. Sneeze button being used. There you go. I think the weather's changing a little bit here in Austin, Texas, so it's sneeze season. Sneezing for Vandy. 586 through here through 120 lines. Luis's left side, yeah, with that L piece, a little bit weird. Hopefully, for Luis's sake, it won't be too much of a problem. Should be dealable with. May end up having to double tuck something at some point. And yes, does double tuck that S piece. And there you go. Spin tucks the Z. You're looking for some kind of bridge burn there. All right. So pretty efficiently handled by Luis with style. 522 here on 19 for Luis. 640 for Fractal. Right, kind of long bar dependent on the left side has to make a, a gap or two uncover them looking for that long bar trying to avoid going all in on it there we go going to transfer that well over or uncover the well anyway and there we go tetris louise survival has occurred 560 for louise 723 for fractal fractal i mean it's weird to say this fractal needs to win this one to stay in the tournament. There we go. Tetris Fractal. Luis getting set up. There's a Tetris Luis 647. Fractal still maintaining about a 100,000 point lead throughout the entire game. Game three. Not sure that's exactly how Fractal wanted that to land, but going to be able to fill it in anyway. Or maybe it is. I don't know. As far as I know, Fractal does everything he wants to do all the time. All right, Tetris Fractal 822. Another Tetris. All right, Louis going to get that T to get Tetris ready. Get the Tetris 771. Fractal going to take this skim here. Long bar Tetris 885. There we go. Beautiful double for Fractal to undo a lot of that garbage. All right. 
Luis a little bit high on the board, but is a roller. So it can certainly survive higher than I can. Beautiful long bar to take. I think what was a triple. Bring this stack down. And there we go. Uncovers and gets the Tetris. 844 for Luis. 902 for Fractal. Dirty Tetris for Fractal. Five or six rows off the bottom. I think that was six. Tetris for Fractal, 976, 913 for Luis. Both players on level 27. And we have seen the last couple games, uh, or at least uh, the last game, when you know, Fractal got into 29, was a little bit high on the board here. So I want to revert to those, uh, you know, singling and doubling strats. Just keep a safe board going into 29. Does have the lead, although Luis has been. Um, digging into that lead. 985 for Luis. A27 for Fractal. And there we go. Tetris for Fractal into 29. Luis up high on the board. Going to get a Tetris one line away from the level 29 transition. Takes the double. The board is low. It's actually set up for the Tetris. It gets the Tetris. Luis, A68. Still back by 14,000 points. Fractal is it kind of in singling and doubling survival mode, trying to put the pressure on Luis to stay alive during the level 29. Luis getting up a bit higher on the board, dependent on the long bar. Can't get the long bar over and will top out A74. Fractal is good here in game three. Wow, look at everybody in chat. Fireworks is here. Snowdrop is here, Doodle, Scott Gray, Doc Pie, Violin Che, Jen Bros, Javin T, everybody's here. We're gonna watch Fractal maybe try to cap this off, but nope. Oh, there we go, got droughted. There you go. So Fractal is pleased to have won game three. It's like, all right, right now. All right, both players are ready, so. Let us get game four underway between Luis and Fractal. Luis up two games to one. Here we go. Three to one, Tetris. Violin Chase says, why no same piece sets? Well, the uh, competition cartridge that we express shipped to Luis at the beginning of the month has yet to arrive. It's still stuck in customs. It's very suspect. I'm sure they are examining this. Actually, they're probably playing it in the Portuguese post office. They are probably playing. They're probably like practicing their like eight high left or something or they're a teaspoon whatever soon we'll we'll know in about two or three months if we just have an influx of like 36 year old postal workers who are rolling All right, 136 for Fractal, 99,000 for Luis. K9 watching Tetris. I did not put Tetris enhancing drugs in the package. All right, Fractal in a little bit of a burn situation. And that uh, that JP's did not go anywhere good for Fractal. Getting up a little bit high for Fractal on a complicated board. This is such a delicate situation here for Fractal. All right, there we go. Nice flat burn here. Fractal. 
Oh no, and Fractal is gonna top out at 180. And that means that Luis will take game four and the match. Look at this kid. First time in Masters takes out one of the top players in the game. A true gamer. He's got the chair to prove it. And Luis will be moving on to round two. And uh, like every bracket broken. Hey everybody, this is your old pal Vandweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. Join our Discord server, the largest classic Tetris community online at ctm.gg slash discord, and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.